Yeah, well, one of the things that, that's pro probably quite different and that um, isn't been offered in any other schools is part of our senior elective programme, which is a, a volunteering programme of the Commonwealth Wargraves Commission. Um, and it's that's we are now in our uh, third year of running that um, elective, and it's been um, extremely successful. And what one of the things that is is great, and as a teacher was was really encouraging about it, was that it was it was the pupils who came up with it. Um, it was the pupils who wanted to do it. Um, so our main focus was researching former pupils who went away to the first and second world war, um, and from our school and died. Um, we, so we were gathering information from all different sources to um, find out what they did before the war, um, their family life, what they did in the war and how they died and where they're buried now. Um, we also have been mapping out our local cemetery called Barnhill Cemetery where there's 24 First World War um, war graves. Um, and been researching about them and holding small commemorative services um, at the anniversary of their deaths. Um, we have also represented the school at many big commemorative events, um, such as the Anzac and Gallipoli um, Remembrance Service in Edinburgh Castle, um, the Amiens 100 um, Remembrance event in Amiens in France, and also the um, Armistice 100 Remembrance Service at Glasgow Cathedral. What's the word? Our most recent project has been the restoration of our school's war memorial, and we've been organising a um, service for the unveiling of that war memorial, which will take place on the 12th of June of 2019. I feel that um, with the project, there's a lot of kind of different aspects to it. So. Um, obviously paying respects back to the people from our school that have fought and died and I feel that it was very enjoyable to have that sense of school pride and community and especially because we're the only school in Scotland that runs um, the kind of like volunteering for the Commonwealth War Graves in school time and there's only another school that um, volunteers for Commonwealth War Graves but they do out of school time and I feel that just having a lot of pride only for the school but for people who fought and died for our country and I think it's so interesting to find about their stories of their lives and kind of where they fought and kind of what they came back to when they um, returned. And so this year I've, I'm doing advanced biology, advanced chemistry and advanced physics and I would like to go into medical research but also the f um, I'm quite interested in how medical research has developed from the wartime and how um, they dealt with diseases and injuries and how it's progressed till now. I've developed many skills by um, being part of this elective. Um, the one skill that I think will help me the most in my future career, I'm going on to do history at university, so um, the research skills that I've obtained um, will really help me in my university. Um, studies. Um, the elective has really helped me also as I am going on to work for the Commonwealth War Graves Commission over in Belgium for four months as part of their internship programme. And so um, by already having the prior knowledge of how the commission is run and the experience of working with commission staff and knowing their core values um, and already having the experience of speaking to the public and other people about, um, about our history, um, I think will really benefit me um, when I go over to Belgium. Another skill, sorry, um, that I've developed would be uh, leadership skills. Um, since the first year, it was only me and two other people who actually came to the school to ask if we could do this elective. Um, and with the help of the commission staff and our history teacher, the pupils of our school actually set the elective up. It was more of a teamwork environment, but since more people wanted to do it this year, um, the pupils who previously did it had to um, lead the group 